Y'all see what I got there? OSB board. <laughs> Y'all used to see me haul that stuff on a flatbed. Matter of fact, my last video, that preload I picked up in Gladys, Virginia, that's what it was. OSB. Caught it on sale today for $15. I, I went to uh, Lowe's last, last, but just, just today's Tuesday. Y'all ain't really got a sense of time from these videos, but today is Tuesday. I'm off today because I got to go to the community college for the um, flatbed scholarship. You know what I was telling y'all about in the last video. So I'm off today. So I went to Lowe's Saturday to check on the prices for this OSB. I got something I got to do. And it was $22 a board. I went back today. Only reason I didn't get it, only reason I didn't get it Saturday, I was going to get it. Because I was thinking I needed eight. I was like, I need eight of these. So I was like, they're not going to fit in my truck. In this truck I got right here, my Tahoe. So I didn't get them. I called my buddy who has a pickup truck. But he was at work, so he couldn't come. So then I've been thinking. So I was going to wait to the, this weekend to do it. But then I was thinking to myself. I was like, I really don't need eight boards. I said, I could just get four and cut them in half. And that's... For what I needed for, that would be the logical logical solution. Just get four, cut them in half the long way, and that gives me eight. So I was still going to wait on my buddy. I was still going to wait on my buddy until this weekend. But then I was thinking to myself, since I ain't doing nothing today, I don't got to go to the college until 8 o'clock at night. I'm like, I could just fit them in my Tahoe. They all, and, then, and then I didn't, I also didn't think to just get Lowe's to cut them in half. That's what made me go ahead and get them today. I was like, I can just get Lowe's to cut them in half. Cause you know, Lowe's, they gonna cut them in a straight line. I, if I cut them, it might not be straight like I wanted. Cause I, you know, I got, I ain't even got no saw horses. I just, I just rig it up out there on the back porch somewhere and just cut it. <laughs> I ain't got no saw horses. I mean, I could invest in some, but maybe in the future. Maybe I'll, I'll get it done because I'm I'm the type of guy. I I would rather do something myself. I would rather go buy the tools to do it myself than to pay somebody to come do something. Because when you know once you buy the tools, once you buy the tools, you know uh, you can do it like do it the first time. You can do it again because you already got the tools. Just like I got a pressure washer at the house right now, and uh, my old lady she she kept talking about. We need to pay somebody to come pressure wash the house. I was like, I'm not paying nobody to pressure wash the house. Like people charging 150, 200 dollars to come pressure wash the house. I said, I'm not gonna pay nobody to pressure wash the house when I can go to Lowe's and buy my own pressure washer and and do it when I want to. And that's what I did. I went and bought the pressure washer. This was probably about three months ago when I went and bought that pressure washer. Pressure wash the house same day I bought it. About two weeks ago, guess what? Pressure, house need pressure washing again. I did the front part, but I ain't do the side. I got to get one of those um those extenders, those pressure washer extenders. So so once I do that, I do the side. I ain't in no rush to do it. I wait till the summertime over with. But yeah, you see, I got a chainsaw right there too. Yeah, I'm about to do some damage today. I'm about to do some damage today. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna show y'all when I get back to the house. That truck riding beside me. Hey man, I'm trying to try to give y'all a little bit different content, man. You know, a lot of times I'll be at home and be doing cool stuff, but I forget that I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I'll be I'll be back to my regular normal human life. I forget that I'm a YouTuber and people actually people actually like to, to watch the content that I put out. But I got a tree that's in my backyard. That's why I got that chainsaw. And I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it all summer. I'm like, I'm like, in the, in the winter time, I'm gonna cut that tree down. And when I get my fire pit, I can I can sit outside and, and burn the damn lumber. But after yesterday, I had my last I had my last straw with that tree. I don't know if you can see it, but my eye right here, my eyes, it's, it's kind of swollen up a little bit. And what happened was that tree. It's, it's got long branches that hang down and touch the ground. So when I drive under it with my lawnmower, my lawnmower tires, they pull the branches down. And every time I go through it, I like close my eyes like that and try to like make sure it don't hit me in the eye. 
But yesterday, I got my last straw. I got my last straw with that tree. It hit me right, boom, branch hit me right in the eye. Cause I, I don't know what kind of tree it is. Maybe y'all can tell me what kind of tree it is. But it got long, flowy branches that hang down. And like I said, when I drive under it with my lawnmower, it it uh my my lawnmower tires they pull the branches and like it pulls it down and boom hit you in the face and i be under it with the lawnmower ducking like this i said uh, uh that's it i'm done with that tree and then another thing too it drops a lot of branches the branches drops off they drop off all in the damn yard i had enough of that tree i already called the city i asked them about um picking it up and they told me you know uh you gotta cut it up in pieces less than five feet, less than 75 pounds, and they're gonna pick it up Friday if I put it out on the, on the curve. So, guess what? We're gonna get it done today. We're gonna get it done today. So, all right, I'm about to turn into the neighborhood right now. Let me pull up in the yard and I'm gonna show y'all that tree. There's that tree I was telling y'all about. See them branches? Show y'all these branches. Now these branches right here. I can see I cut I cut the other one down already. I cut this one down. Oh man, damn bugs and shit, dragonflies. I cut that one down yesterday. But you see how these branches is close to the ground. When I drive in there with my lawnmower. The tires, they, they they roll up under the tires and it pulls it down like this, like boom. And I always be fucking my damn head up. So this is the tree. I had enough of this damn tree. It's going down today. I actually don't think I'm gonna cut the whole tree down. I don't know, I might. I might cut it from the trunk. I think about just trimming up some of these, some of these branches. But uh, we'll see when I get back out here. I may not have as much as most people. There's that pressure washer. But I got a, I think I got a pretty good little setup in here. That branch that I just told you about over there. I actually cut it down. I actually cut that down with this, with this damn circular saw yesterday. That's how I cut that branch down. I thought I could get to some more with it. Hey, I mean, you, you might laugh and say, how the hell you cut it with that? But hey, they cut it. I cut it down. But yeah, there's that pressure washer I'll tell you about. Still got the price tag on it. Look at that. $449. Now, now by the time you pay somebody to come pressure wash your house, well, I got a little small. This my house is a little smaller than most people's. But like uh that's about two hundred dollars pressure wash that house. Imagine if you had a big house. Like maybe, yeah. So by the time you pay somebody to pressure wash that house. Two times you could have bought that pressure washer and come outside and do it yourself. Y'all love saying where these green works. I use that in the front yard with the bagger sometimes, but uh, it run, I got two batteries for it. So uh, if you don't got two batteries, you you ain't, ain't worth your time getting it. You gotta have two batteries because when that first battery died, you had an other battery to use. And this is a green works um, weed eater too. Hey, now this motherfucker right here will do some damage. I compare, I put this up against anybody gas power long weed eater. That little thing right there do some damage, and that battery lasts a long time. Now this right here, this is my baby. I just used it yesterday. See all that grass up here? I did get a broom to sweep this thing out. Whew! Let me go in the house and take me a break before I come out here and get to work. I went to Lowe's and got that lumber, but they didn't have any chainsaws. They had they had one chainsaw that I wanted. It was a Craftsman. I think it was a, it was a 16 inch, 45 cc. This one is 38 cc. This was I got this one at Walmart, but they didn't have that Craftsman that I wanted. So uh, I didn't want to get the 14 or the 16. So I looked on on the Walmart app, Walmart right across the street. So I decided to get this 18 inch two cycle. I ain't about to be out there cutting down, cutting down forest. So 
I feel like this little thing should it should do the job. got it put together already primed it already choked it out now I'm about to put the choke back in see if I can start it up got my safety glasses on let's see if we can get this thing running chain moving too fast so I gotta I gotta adjust the auto speed on it let me run back in the house and get my tool all right I just want to let y'all know I did read the operating manual that's how I knew about the auto speed it was idling but the chain moving too fast so according to the manual if the chain turns it auto, turn the auto speed crew Screw T counterclockwise to reduce the auto RPM and stop the chain movement. I already know what, where T is at. That screw is right here. Right behind this. Move this out of the way. It's right here. I'm gonna turn it all the way. I'm gonna turn it all the way clockwise. All right, let's try this out. Let's try this one out, see if it still moves. This little tool that came with it, this uh, this a Phillips. Well, actually, it's a flathead, but they got a Phillips screw in there. So let's, let's test this one out. little motherfucker do some damage now I gotta clean all this stuff up
guess what, gang? You know how I was talking about the idle, the idle thing on the damn chainsaw. I couldn't get it. The, the chain wasn't supposed to move at idle. Like if, if it said if it moved at idle, you're supposed to return it to the manufacturer. And so uh, I got it running, but it started smoking too bad. Or oh, Planet Fitness right there. Hey, I brought that. I took that thing back to Walmart, man. I, I should have learned my lesson about being cheap. I took it back to Walmart. I just came to trap supply. Let me show you what I got. I spent a little money. Got a better one. This one's about $200. Don't buy that black match from Walmart. It ain't worth it. That's what I did with the other chainsaw. And here we go with the new one. Already got it. Already got the fuel in it, the oil. Got everything in there. All I gotta do now is crank it up. Hey, remember what I said, don't get that cheap one from Walmart. It ain't worth a damn. I never knew how much work it was to cut a tree down. I ain't feel like cutting down that little branch. But I knocked down most of it. It won't hit me no more when I drop, when I cut the grass. I need to get this little piece off. I should have got it. I cut that with some scissors. All right, gang. Now, like I was saying, the day was going by pretty quick. I got that other chainsaw. I had to get finished with the tree and hurry up and get started so I can get to the college. Went to the college, did my little speech, presented the awards, did a little talking, running my mouth. Overall, we got three students. They got the scholarship. They got $500 a piece. One of the guys ended up donating his scholarship to another student because he really didn't need the money. So it was a success. September 10th, we got the other, other awards and we got three more students getting on September 10th. So thanks for everybody that pitched in. I love y'all. Glad y'all support me and got my back. But we may very well do it again. And I'm glad that y'all could help me out and help these students out. Thank you. Flatbed gang.